Hey there. In this video, we're going to introduce you to Bella Studio, Bella's native photo editing suite that you'll find in your left-hand navigation when you click through to Studio and then through to Editor. Bella Studio gives you the power to create beautiful listings easier than ever. You'll see we have two options, which is to first search by title or SKU to work on existing photos, or we can upload directly from our computer if we want to start with something new. Let's search for one of our listings and get started. Once we've clicked on the listing, we'll see all of the images associated with this listing available for us to work with. So as we look to begin editing this particular image, perhaps first we want to remove the background. We'll find an option up top, or clicking it, Bella will automatically remove even complicated backgrounds to highlight our product and give us a blank canvas to work with. We'll now see that that original background is removed, and if we want to restore it, we can simply click Restore and toggle back and forth. In this case, we want to remove it, where we'll see the next options at our disposal. One to add color, and another to add image. Under color, we can click on one of the existing choices, and if we double click, we'll be able to mouse over the color palette to create custom colors. We can also manually enter a hex code if we wish. In Add Image, we'll see that Bella has a list of curated choices arranged by category to make life easy. If I want to search for something different, I simply need to search by the keyword, and in this case, let's find a good museum image that's consistent with our other listings. We'll see that image has been added, and to further refine it, we can also use the Blur tool to ensure our product is properly highlighted. Next, we'll see the option to crop our image, where Vela has a group of existing presets according to the parameters on different social platforms. If we want to create a Facebook post, we can easily crop the image accordingly. In this case, let's stick with the original to continue going through our workflow. In the Refine tab, we'll find familiar options to update and adjust all of the different parameters of my image, as you'd find in many other photo editors. Below, you'll also find an existing set of presets or filters where we can easily apply a consistent look to all of our library. In our next tab, we'll see the option to add text where we might want to promote a particular campaign or highlight a particular feature. We'll see we can toggle between all different fonts. We can adjust the font size. We can adjust the font alignment line spacing, as well as the colors with the same interface we've seen before, where if we double click, once again, we'll be able to drag on the color palette to select a custom color, either through drag and drop or by entering a hex code. Below, we'll also see the option to toggle between different background colors, where once again, the same customization capability is there. In this case, let's leave this transparent. Clicking on the text, we can resize the box and then enter the text that we want to include. Once we're happy with it, all we need to do is drag and drop to position it where we want to see it. As we make these changes, Bella will save them as we proceed through the different features. In our next tab, we'll see the ability to add banners, where we can select from a large list of configured and curated choices. In our case, perhaps we want to highlight a sale on this particular listing. So we'll choose a banner, where once again, we'll see the similar options, where we can change the transparency or opacity, toggle between different fonts, update the color and the background. Once again, we can use custom backgrounds by double clicking. So let's find a color we like, and then let's drag and drop to position this where we want, where once again, we can resize where the text will automatically adjust to fit the size of the banner. We'll update the text, and once we're happy with it, that's all we need to do. 
So in this workflow, we've shown you how to remove a background, add a blur, add text, and add a banner. And we'll see with that green dot that our changes have been saved. Let's show another feature to clean up backgrounds, which in this case is the cleanup feature. In some cases, we might not have a background we want to remove, but a particular attribute or element that we do. All we need to do is paint over this with the cleanup tool, and we'll see that Velo removes that particular item while retaining the existing background to clean up the image. To make more precise edits, we can also update and adjust the brush size in cases where we might need to be a bit more precise. The next feature I'm going to demonstrate allows us to get creative by adding new elements to our existing product photography. You'll find this under Scenes. So let's first remove the background to get ourselves ready. Or in this case, we're going to remove that original background and we're going to replace it with one of the presets. In this case, a desk scene. Next, we'll go to Scenes on the bottom of our menu, where we'll see a list of pre-configured elements that we can place into the image. You'll find they're organized by category, giving us all kinds of options to create interesting looks. In this case, we'll select this espresso cup, where we'll see we'll be able to resize it, as well as rotate it to give the image a natural look. We can add as many of these as we want. And note that up top, there's an option to upload where if you have your own items or your own watermark or logo, you can add it here and apply the same changes. So we'll now see three green dots on the bottom of our screen on the images that we've worked with. Once we're happy with all of them, we can click save where we'll have two options. One to update the listing photos immediately where it will also save it to the library. Or if we don't want to apply these to our listing immediately, we can click Save to Library, where they'll be ready for us to use in the future. In the library, we'll now see these new images available for us to use elsewhere. The sync indicates that this is now also applied to the product. If we mouse over the individual photos, we'll see three options to either continue editing, to download those images, or to delete them if we wish. So that's all you need to do to edit your photos in Vela Studio. Thanks for joining us.